using the TI Inspire CAS handheld. Video 1. Things to know before you start. Part 4. Implied multiplication. So the next thing that you need to be aware of before you get too involved in using your CAS calculator is that you need to be a little careful about how you use multiplication in algebraic expressions. Um, your CAS uh, has some flexibility in, in what it understands and that um, there are advantages to that but it can create some problems. So first things first, if we enter a quite simple algebraic term such as, sorry, 2x, which I, mean, I understand to mean 2 times x, when I press enter I see that my CAS also understands this to mean 2 times x. So it has included um, this dot in between the 2 and the x um, which is a uh, another way of expressing multiplication um, and it's a notation quite commonly used in Europe. So you'll see it's different from a decimal point if I type 2.1 the decimal point sits at the bottom of the line whereas um, 2 multiplied by x is the dot in the middle. So it understands I mean multiplication in this case. It also understands I mean multiplication when I do um, a number times a bracket for example, so 2 times x plus 4. It understands that I mean 2 times x plus 4 and it's indicated that by including the dot there. If however I try to type x times x plus 4, okay, it doesn't understand what I mean, but it does understand that I probably meant to include some multiplication somewhere there. So the issue here is the two non-numeric characters either side of that bracket, so x and x, um, and it, it's smart enough to know here that with the bracket involved there I must have meant some kind of multiplication, but it doesn't quite know where. So just press OK here and then edit your expression to be explicit about the multiplication. It doesn't understand where it was meant to be, it didn't know where to, to put it, so I'm going to tell it. If, however, I enter a simple algebraic term like xy, meaning x times y, you'll notice when I press enter, it hasn't indicated that it understands multiplication between the x and the y, and it hasn't understood multiplication. What it's understanding here is xy to be a variable, and that means that the CAS allows you to use words or um, you know combinations of letters to indicate a variable. So you could actually use the word height as a variable in your calculator you could set up the um, equation for the area of a rectangle, area equals height times width, and use those actual words and then be able to make substitutions for height equals such and such. Um, it's cumbersome and I, I haven't found a situation where I would need to, but that's why it, it doesn't understand this and why it allows you to enter in things such as this. So I need to be quite cautious here because it hasn't warned me that there might be a problem, so I need to think a little bit about it and note that it didn't include the dot there, so I know it doesn't understand multiplication here. So I mean x times y, I'm going to explicitly type that, now I can see that it understands what I mean.